Why take one vacation with the family when you could take all of them? With Royal Caribbean, you don't just go to the beach. You visit a private island and race down the tallest water slide in North America. You don't just go for a road trip. You ATV and zip line through the jungle. You don't just go somewhere new. You rappel down waterfalls and discover ancient temples. Because this isn't just any vacation. This is all the vacations. Come seek the Royal Caribbean. Ships Registry, Bahamas. Expressing your love can look many different ways. And with the right jewelry gift from Blue Nile, it can truly sparkle. Blue Nile's collection of classic diamond jewelry makes for the kind of gift that speaks volumes without saying a single word. Or switch things up with a sapphire piece sure to spark conversation. Either way, Blue Nile's diamond guarantee ensures you get the highest quality at the best price. Express yourself with Blue Nile, the original online jeweler, at BlueNile.com. That's BlueNile.com. I'm Alex Rodriguez. And I'm Jason Kelly. From Bloomberg, this is The Deal. Each week, you will hear us in conversation with business icons. This show will explore deal-making across sports, media, and entertainment. And that is a harsh lesson in business. Sports is and not uh, as simple you know, I, as bringing a bunch of big names together. I didn't want to do another stomp you out speech. It opened so, up so many more doors. The show is called The, the deal. deal. Listen to The Deal. Listen to The Deal on Spotify. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. From the launch your online shop stage all the way to the we just hit a million orders stage. No matter what stage you're in, Shopify's there to help you grow. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash special offer. Back Ram fans, this is Rams Up, your favorite LA Rams podcast. We are proud members of the Fans First Sports Network. That's fansfirstsports.com. You can also follow us on YouTube. Our channel is at LA Rams Up. I'm your host, Mark. You'll hear from my co host, Tom, on occasion as well. Hey, we're not Rams insiders, we're just longtime fans who love talking about our Los Angeles Rams. Let's get to it. Welcome back, everybody. Episode 425 of Rams Up. A heads up, over the next week or so, we hope to have roundtables reviewing the Rams depth chart on offense and defense. Look for that in the coming days. And then next week, we'll get heavy into our final mock draft a roundtable mock draft right before the real thing. Well, we're back into the football news doldrums, unless we're just going to talk about the draft all day long. So I'm bouncing over to my 18 observations, random observations across the NFL, mostly sort of kind of related to the Rams, though. My first observation, what's going on with Brandon Ayuk? Stopped following the 49ers on social media. Don't want to overreact to this. It's almost just how they do business nowadays. Brandon's ready for his new contract. 49ers probably trying to figure it out. 49ers GM John Lynch adamant that they have not had trade talks specifically with the Steelers. That seems to be the most popular destination among the general viewing public. I don't really think anything's going on there. I suspect the 49ers are going to be able to figure it out. But hey, they could trade him. They're going to have to get some restructuring done. Do not have the money right now to pay him, I don't think. Now, if Ayuk moves on, that's going to be a real blow to the 49ers offense. Ayuk is such a big piece of what they do. Overlooked. I think he's the second most important member of that offense. Another observation, pro football focus named edge rusher Braylon Trice out of Washington as a day two target for the Rams, cited his high pass rush win rate. But Lance Serline calls him a rotational 4-3 defensive end. 
He's six foot three and a half inches tall, 245 pounds. I don't know. Nothing's coming together here for me. That's not the typical size of a 4-3 defensive end. And how is he a good fit for the Rams for what they do? I don't know. Pro football focus usually gets it right. So I'm going to roll with this. Maybe the Rams go after Braylon Trice a little bit later in the draft. Third up here, I saw another mock draft that has the Rams trading back. They send the 19th pick to the Cardinals in exchange for the 23rd and 71st pick. And they use that 23rd pick, which was originally with Minnesota. Cardinals got it in another mocked trade. And the Rams draft Latou, a guy that a lot of people have the Rams drafting. Value-wise, that trade favors the Rams slightly. Just don't know if it's reasonable for the Rams to trade with a divisional rival. My fourth observation, another mock draft, Cameron DeSilva of Rams Wire. He had the Rams given up the 19th and 83rd pick for the Eagles' 22nd and 53rd pick. And they used that pick to select Latou as well. And that would also give them back-to-back picks in the second round. However, they would have no picks between 53 and 99. So what did they do with those four picks? That would give them the 22nd, the 52nd, the 53rd, and the 99th. And what did De Silva do with those first three picks? It was Latou, the edge rusher, Max Melton, the cornerback, and Braden Fisk, the defensive lineman. My fifth observation for you. I've stumbled across an all-rookie team. Steve Avila was one of the Rams' selections. And I'm not going to mention this writer's name. We all say silly things that he said something silly about Steve Avila. He said that he thrived in the Rams' zone-based scheme as a polished technician with quick feet and strong hands. That's not how I would describe Steve Avila. That's all I'm going to say about that. My sixth observation, kind of old news already, but the Rams did re-sign Troy Reader. We mentioned it briefly in passing the other night during our Wheel of Fortune mock draft. Now, what does this do for the Rams? It gives them a little bit more flexibility. They want to go into this draft not feeling like they have to draft a particular position. And linebacker has never been a high priority for them, except for that one time when they drafted Ernest Jones. Are they still going to draft a linebacker? I would think so, but maybe not as high as we might expect. Troy Reader is a very serviceable inside linebacker, and they may just roll with what they have. Got a seventh observation here for you. Got six Rams free agents that are still unsigned. Brian Allen, I feel like he's done with the Rams for sure. Akilo Witherspoon, uh, some think he may come back, but I think he's just going to be too expensive. John Johnson, I think Adding John Johnson would be a solid addition, really round out this secondary. Maybe they're waiting until after the draft and see how that plays out. Cornerback Duke Shelley, not a bad player. Bryson Hopkins, no one biting on him yet. And wide receiver Austin Trammell. I'm afraid the new kickoff rules has pretty much ended Trammell's career with the Rams. Why take one vacation with the family when you could take all of them? With Royal Caribbean, you don't just go to the beach. You visit a private island and race down the tallest water slide in North America. You don't just go for a road trip. You ATV and zip line through the jungle. You don't just go somewhere new. You rappel down waterfalls and discover ancient temples. Because this isn't just any vacation. This is all the vacations. Come seek the Royal Caribbean. Ships Registry, Bahamas. Hey, it's Kaylee Cuoco for Priceline. Ready to go to your happy place for a happy price? Well, why didn't you say so? Just download the Priceline app right now and save up to 60% on hotels. So whether it's Cousin Kevin's Kazoo Concert in Kansas City, go Kevin! Or Becky's Bachelorette Bash in Bermuda, you never have to miss a trip ever again. So download the Priceline app today. Your savings are waiting. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, Priceline. Expressing your love can look many different ways. And with the right jewelry gift from Blue Nile, it can truly sparkle. Blue Nile's collection of classic diamond jewelry makes for the kind of gift that speaks volumes without saying a single word. Or switch things up with a sapphire piece sure to spark conversation. Either way, Blue Nile's diamond guarantee ensures you get the highest quality at the best price. 
Express yourself with Blue Nile, the original online jeweler, at BlueNile.com. That's BlueNile.com. I'm Alex Rodriguez. And I'm Jason Kelly. From Bloomberg, this is The Deal. Each week, you're here in conversation with business icons. This show will explore deal-making across sports, media, and entertainment. That is a harsh lesson in business. Sports is not and, as uh, simple you know, I, as bringing a bunch of big names together. I didn't want to do another stomp you out speech. It opened so, up so many you know, more doors. The show is called The, the deal. deal. Listen to The Deal. Listen to The Deal on Spotify. With threats to our nation waiting around every corner, adaptability is more important than ever. When conditions change without notice, quick strategic thinking is crucial. And with obstacles consistently impending, determination is essential in overcoming them. It's this willingness, decisiveness, and resilience that sets Marines apart. With our fighting spirit, we don't just fight battles, we win them. Marines are the constant our nation counts on to fight the unknown. And through adaptable problem solving, we do just that. Learn more at Marines.com. Observation number eight here for your Rams cap space down to around 12 million. Really not much left, seeing as how they have to sign up to 11 rookies, possibly more. So they're probably standing pat. Now, if you hear that the Rams are restructuring a veteran's contract, that would indicate something's about to happen. Observation number nine, I'm just going to share something with you here. One of our commenters on the YouTube channel said, hey, we should do a best player available draft and don't worry about doubling up on positions Now, I'm not sure if he meant just take the best player available every selection, but that's what I did, and this is what I came away with. It's not a bad draft. The first pick, edge rusher Jared Verse, we'd all love to have him, and the second pick, linebacker Edrin Cooper, well, kind of contradicts the comment I just made about drafting a linebacker, and then we picked Marshawn Neeland out of Western Kentucky, listed as an edge rusher, could also play along the defensive line. Fourth pick quarterback, Spencer Rattler. A lot of people think he'd be a good fit for the Rams. Fifth pick running back, Ray Davis out of Kentucky. Paul Wally has talked extensively about him. What a great story. Defensive lineman, Mikhai Wingo out of LSU. And there's articles floating around about him being a great fit for the Rams. Cornerback Jerrion Jones out of Florida State. Scott Richmond drafted him for the Rams in his mock draft on our YouTube channel. The eighth pick, interior offensive lineman Javion Cohen out of Miami. Now that's a new name for me. First time he's popped up for the Rams. Then safety, Kitan Oladapo out of Oregon State. And we have talked about him on the YouTube channel as well. And then edge rusher Brennan Jackson out of Washington State. And another linebacker, J.D. Bertrand out of Notre Dame. Not a bad draft. A lot of guys I like here. A few guys I really don't know anything about. And my 10th observation, I'm going to share another best player available draft. This is a shorter one on NFL.com's mock draft database that only goes three rounds, giving the Rams four picks. First pick was Jerzon Newton, the defensive tackle out of Illinois. Makes sense. Good fit for the Rams. Fits a need. The second round pick was wide receiver Roman Wilson out of Michigan. And I think he'd be a good fit for this Rams offense as well. The third pick, best player available, was a running back. So I took him. Blake Corum. So not necessarily a need this high in the draft in the third round, but Hey, best player available, so I took him. And then that pick at the end of the third round, the center out of Georgia, Cedric Van Pran. That would give the Rams a lot of flexibility, a little bit of depth along the offensive line. Observation number 11. If you're still wondering where the Rams were holding training camp, I have no idea. Well, actually, I may have an idea. Now, remember, the Saints are at UC Irvine. The Rams will not be training in Thousand Oaks. They will not be training on Woodland Hills. Now, Tom Quartz shared a rumor a couple weeks ago that they would be training at Loyola Marymount in Playa del Vista. That's squeezed in between LAX and Marina del Rey, less than six miles from SoFi. That's not a bad option. Not sure about the facilities there, but weather-wise, certainly cooler than the other options, places where they have practiced in the past. 
Observation number 12, it's more of a question I'm going to throw out here. You heard about Tom Brady not squashing the idea of him returning. So I asked myself, who's more likely to come back, Tom Brady or Aaron Donald? And now my money would be on Tom Brady. And why is that? If there's a contender coming down the stretch, locked up a playoff spot, and they lose their starting quarterback, I could see Tom Brady stepping in. Not for the Rams, because I think they would roll with Jimmy G, but there's a couple of other teams that would be desperate for a high-caliber quarterback, bring him in for the playoffs. Observation number three, well, either the Rams are just really good at keeping information tight to the vest, or our Rams insiders, and I'm not one of them, just isn't sharing information. Anyone know what's going on with Tyler Higby or Hunter Long as far as coming back from those injuries? I have no idea, nothing to share with you. Observation number 14, you know, I saw an interview of Jimmy G talking about him coming to LA and realizing as he was interviewing with the Rams and I assume cruising around Ventura County and the northern fringes of LA County, maybe starting to realize he kind of digs the area and he's such a good fit, a good looking guy like that. And I was reminded of that. I showed my wife a picture of Jimmy G and this is the downside. I think she wants to watch games with me now. Observation number 15 here for you. Heading into this draft, the Rams have gone seven years without making a first round pick. That's the second most in history. Washington went 11 straight years without a first round pick. That was from 1969 to 1979. I'm guessing that was the George Allen era. You know what? I kind of feel like I want the Rams to go for that record. Trade out of the first, just for kicks. Let's pick up a couple of second rounders, get out of the first, keep that streak alive. Observation number 16, the Rams' three starters on the interior offensive line weigh a combined 965 pounds. And that's about 60 pounds more than what they started the 2022 season with. And that Hermosa Beach extravaganza is on. The Rams have locked down Pier Plaza, Shoemaker Plaza, and a beach area for the draft. That'll start at 4 p.m. on April 5th, one hour before the actual draft, and then it will continue the next day as well. They're going to have a 60-yard artificial turf football field for skills and drills challenges. I'm guessing that's similar to what they do during those SoFi tours. Going to be wild down there. Check it out. Show your Ram colors. Should be a lot of fun. And speaking of the draft, we're all thinking about the draft. What else are we thinking about this time of year? What am I thinking today? I'm thinking the Rams go heavy on defense. Surprise, surprise. But even more so than you might think, I think four of the first five picks are going to be defense. I'm thinking defensive line, safety, edge, and maybe linebacker or maybe two defensive linemen, maybe a cornerback instead of a linebacker. You get the idea for the top five defense, though. Now, that's how I feel today as I'm recording this. I'll probably be changing my mind pretty quickly here. That's going to do it for this episode Remember, you can reach us at ramsuppodcast at gmail.com. And don't forget about our YouTube channel. Our handle is at laramsup.com. Till next time, keep the horns up, stay safe, and have fun out there.